Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Stephen Gray asks, some clients request a Windows media file for distribution and of the final video. And these Windows media files always look awful compared to QuickTime. Well, duh. Anyway. <laughs> Ideally, for Windows media files, what you want to do is create the QuickTime inside Final Cut and send the file over to a PC and have the PC uh, compress it. You're going to get probably the best results by doing compression on a PC for a PC. If, on the other hand, that's not an option, and I don't own a PC here of the 12 computers I've got in the office, you want to use a program from Telestream called Flip for Mac. That's F-L-I-P, the number 4-M-A-C, Flip for Mac. And this will create WMV files, and you're just going to have to mess with the data rate. One of the nice things that's happening right now is that Windows Media, the latest version, and Flash, the latest version, and Final Cut, the latest version, all work with an H.264 codec, which means that the codec settings for H.264 should be roughly the same across all platforms. However, earlier versions of Windows Media don't create as small a file as QuickTime does. To get the same quality, you're going to need to have a larger file size, which is one of the things that you'd want to experiment with as you're doing your compression. So to create stuff, check out, uh, to create WMV files, check out Flip for Mac. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.